Okay, we've got a assignment on proportional reasoning. I'm going to do problem number seven. Problem number seven says a 20 ounce soda costs three dollars. At this rate, how much would a 32 ounce soda cost? Um, there's two ways to set up this, this proportion without making a mistake. Um, some students will like a ratio table, so I'm comparing ounces to dollars. Twenty ounces cost three dollars. We want to know how much thirty-two ounces would cost. So there's our unknown x. And if you set up a ratio table, you can set your proportion up directly from your ratio table. Twenty over thirty-two equals three over x. Um, the other way to do this, and probably the more common way, but you're you're welcome to use either method or um, any method you choose that's effective and efficient. Um, I'm comparing 20 ounces of soda to three dollars so I could I could say 20 ounces per three dollars or I could say three dollars per 20 ounces is equivalent to um, 32 ounces for how many do for X number of dollars now I know that um, my this proportion is set up correctly because I, I put my units in my proportion. So there's the key. If you're going to go directly to a proportion, you should include the units in your rates. I have ounces per dollars on the left side of my equation, and I have ounces per dollars on the right side of my equation. If I set, set it up this way, dollars per ounce, $3 for 20 ounces would equal X number of dollars per 32 ounces. And so I have dollars in my numerator, ounces in my denominator. Notice here I have ounces in my numerator and denominator and dollars in my numerator and denominator. You can do that also, so that's why the ratio table sometimes, um, if you like doing that, it'll it'll keep you from, uh, sorry, way to say this. There's no chance of, of setting up your proportion incorrectly if you first set up a ratio table, because you can compare ounces to ounces equals dollars to dollars. Um, if you think about that idea of ro that rotatio um, invention I showed you, if I if I took this proportion and rotated it 90 degrees counterclockwise, I would have 3 over 20, here it is, 3 over 20, equals x over 32, x over 32. If I took this um, proportion and rotated it 90 degrees clockwise, I would have 32 over x, well here's the 32 over x, equals 20 over 3, here's the 20 over 3. So you can, you can set up a ratio table um, and label your units in your columns set set up your um, comparisons that way or you can go directly to a proportion but if you go directly to a proportion just make sure you include the units in your proportion okay um, solve any one of those I'm gonna I'm gonna solve this one when we come back from the break and then uh, come back and see how you did paused we need to use cross products here to solve for the um, the amount of money that 32 ounces would cost so 20 times X 20 X is equal to 32 multiplied by 3. 20x equals 96. I'm going to divide both sides by 20. And I get x is equal to 96 twentieths. There's lots of ways to turn that into a dollar, uh, an amount that's dollars and cents, but I kind of like this method. 5 fifths is one whole. And if I have hundredths in my denominator, um, dollars and cents is hundreds. If you if you think of a, a price like a dollar ninety nine, that's a hundred and ninety nine hundredths. The dollar is a hundred hundredths and ninety nine cents is ninety nine hundredths. That's what cents are, they're hundredths of a dollar. So ninety six multiplied by five. A hundred fives is five hundred. I have four fewer fives than that, so I have twenty less than five hundred, which is four hundred and eighty. Um, so 480 hundredths is 480 hundredths, 480 ending in the hundredths place, which is up $4.80. And the last thing I should do to make sure, I just just, just to double check myself, um, see whether that answer is reasonable. This 32 ounces is not twice as much as 20, so this should be less than $6, and it is. It's, um, it's 32 is a little more than half of 20 so half of three dollars is a dollar fifty three and three and a dollar fifty is four fifty but it's a little bit more than half so everything about this answer seems reasonable to me 
So I'm going to I'm going to be convinced at that point that my answer is correct.